latest edition of Author Fan Face Off. Basically, we have one fabulous author, one super fan, and one fabulous book. I'm Stacy Ratner, the Leaping Librarian, Woo-hoo! and my fantastic co-host is author Steve Shankin. Thank you. Hello. And today, I am super excited to introduce my friend Kwame Alexander, who's very winner of the crossover and the undefeated and New York Times bestseller and NPR and all just sorts all of things. All around great guy. <laughs> right. And I said, I told Steve, I've known Kwame since before when I had more Twitter followers than you. So uh, that's, that's my claim to fame. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got Kwame, we got the crossover, and Steve is going to introduce your super fan. Yeah, I think Steven is here to challenge you, Kwame. And this is funny. Usually we start before we start recording, we tell the author what we're doing. But Kwame said, no, don't tell me. <laughs> so I have no idea what we're doing. No idea. No, Steven has the advantage then. Uh, he's eighth grader from Illinois. A reader and a writer, as well as a baseball fan, baseball player, too, first baseman, and a basketball player, too. So he wanted this challenge. He wanted the crossover challenge. And what we're going to do is just start asking questions. We're going to find out who knows the book better. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> still in? Thanks, thanks for preparing me, Stacy. <laughs> Anytime, Bobby. When's the last time you read the book? I don't know, maybe yesterday. That's what we thought. (laughs) All right, then you'll be ready. You'll be fine then. All right, I'm jumping in. Steven, Josh Bell tells us that his nickname, this nickname is his claim to fame. Filthy McNasty. (laughs) Filthy McNasty. And Kwame, what does Josh and Jordan's mother do for a living? She is an assistant principal at their school. Correct. I got it right. Yes. So far, so good. <laughs> You're going down, Stephen. You're going down. <laughs> All right, Stephen. Josh roots for this college basketball team and wants to go to school there. Duke. Oh. Quick. Yeah. Wait a minute. Woo. Does Stephen have his book open? Hold on. <laughs> I don't see it. All right. All right. All right. Okay, good. All right. Kwame, when Josh suggests his father should write a book, his father jokes that this will be the title. Oh, snap. Oh, uh, 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 my basketball rules for life. Chuck Bell's basketball rules for life. That does come up later in the story. What? But but the first time it comes, the first time it's mentioned, he kind of jokes what the title would be. You know this. This is hard. The man's rules for life. The uh, man, the man, the man's <laughs> life, the man rocks. <laughs> Steven, you know? Um. Um, I don't think I do. Um. Kwame, oh, it's so close. What is it? I'm the man. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> Did I These are that? tough. That came up one time. That was a tough question. All right, Steven. This is, this is a real key part of the story. When JB wins a bet with Josh by hitting a last second shot, he gets to do this. He gets to cut off some locks of his hair. Yeah, he was supposed to cut off one lock of Josh's hair and it got a little a little out of control. And then this is a this is a little obscure detail Uh-oh. that I loved. What would JB have had to do, Kwame? What would he have had to do if he had lost the bet? Oh, he would have had to moon a table of like fourth graders or fifth graders or something. Yes, he was going to have to moon a table in the cafeteria. Ew. That did not happen in the book, but it might have. Unfortunately. <laughs> how, how would I have written that? That would have been interesting. Yeah. It's a different book. <laughs> Stephen, in what country 
did Chuck Bell play professional basketball? Italy? Yeah! Yes! He's good. He's good. <laughs> Lynn White did a He's great the job. man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Kwame, what NBA team once invited Chuck Bell for a tryout? Uh, the Lakers. <laughs> Got it. Hey, uh, <laughs> Oh, All man. right. These are these are um, you guys are experts. But Stephen, what does Josh call JB's girlfriend, Alexis? What does he call her? Miss Sweetie. Yes. Hmm. Uh, I think later in the story he calls her the girl that stole my brother. All right, don't show off. Don't show off. <laughs> Kwame, I would love for you to define the word pulchritudinous. Pulchritudinous, having extreme. Beauty, as in, if I had a girlfriend, I would, she'd be poker tuneless. As if, as in, why is the poker tuneless new girl now talking to my brother? <laughs> poker tuneless, extreme beauty and appeal. P U L C H R I T I D I N O U S. Was that right, Stephen? I couldn't keep it. Oh, I know. Now, now who's showing off there? Now who's huh? showing off? <laughs> All right. Well, we do have um, a bonus that either one of you could answer. And there are a couple of dad jokes by Chuck Bell. All right, Stephen, how you... And the first one is... Why can't you play sports in the jungle? Either one of you. Do you know, Stephen? I don't know it. It's probably because there's too many cheetahs. Ah! <laughs> oh! You gotta be a dad to, to say that, maybe. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, we, we make a list of the, like, the hardest questions and kind of save them because if people are as good as you, we want to throw them out at the last second. I, here's what I think is the hardest question. I'm just going to ask it. Okay. Um, Josh mentions that he has all these pairs of, of Air Jordans, but he has one pair that he never wears. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, this is a really obscure detail. You're <laughs> not ringing a bell, Stephen. <laughs> What do you think, Kwame? Do you know it? I would just take a random guess and say Nike Air Jordan 1 Barack Obama Low Edition. Or something. <laughs> yes, wow. it's a Barack Obama Limited Edition. <laughs> that was tough. <laughs> hey, I wrote the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many authors come on and say, you know, I, I, after I finished that book, I never read it again because they, they're afraid they're going to find something. And this must be especially true with poetry. Maybe I'll find even one syllable I would like to change. Does that happen? That's true. That's true. But you know, I've read this book so I've read this book a thousand times yeah. to kids around the world. So wow. Brings back memory, Stephen. Your teacher rocks, by the way. Your librarian, she's amazing. Here's another bonus question that I that we have on our list. Um, Josh, we love bringing in books when authors reference other books and their books. Mm -hmm. Josh is doing a report on this novel. The Gibber? Yes! Yes! yes. 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 Well, thank you, guys. Stephen, you feel pretty good? You held your own? Yeah. <laughs> you, did, you did great. Stephen, thanks so much for playing this game. And, and Stacy, you, you know, you're, you're my favorite. <laughs> thank you, Kwame. All right. I can't wait to see this. All right. Yeah, it'll be about a week or so. We'll, we'll let you know. Just for the record, I don't know what they're doing with the editing people, but I won. <laughs> <laughs>